Hey, what's up guys? Sam here. Welcome back to another video. Very busy day for Apple News. Following the drop of the brand new 27 inch iMac, Apple dropped iOS developer beta 4 for iOS 14. Now I think it's also out for public beta testers as well, or it will be sometime later this week. And being around 640 megabytes, it might lead you to believe that there's a ton of stuff new here, but after looking around, that's not the case at all. In fact, this is the smallest beta update we've seen and by a long shot, but there's still some cool stuff I wanna show you. So drop a like if you're excited, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's start this brief iOS 14 beta 4 update. First up, if you are on an older device, I've got good news for you, 3D Touch is back. I know this has been a, a big point of contention for a lot of you out there, but especially if you're on like an iPhone 8-esque uh, device, you might have noticed that you were replaced with haptic touch. Now, if you have a newer device like this iPhone 11, you don't know what I'm talking about. Basically, Apple removed 3D Touch from one beta. Everybody freaked out, thought it was gone forever, but uh, lo and behold, it's not. It is actually, it's back, it's here, and this interface actually looks really nice. So if you have 3D Touch, it's back in this beta. Next up, Apple is continuing the tradition of adding a new widget every single time there's a new beta, and sure enough, we've got the TV widget now. I mean, at first we got, uh, I'm trying to remember which one, I think, Music came uh, after launch, and then we had, uh, you know, the clock one was really huge. Now we've got TV, all right? So if I tap that, there's three sizes. Small, you know, I, I definitely question the practicality of just, you know, seeing so that you can continue there. Uh, medium, probably the most realistic that you might want to put in your home screen, and then large, the most media rich. I'll actually add this one because I do like the way it looks the best. There you go. It takes up like 15 rows in your home screen, but you can see I do have the brand new TV widget in iOS 14 at beta 4. Um, let me know if you're gonna use this one for me. Not, not a huge fan of the TV app in general, and I'm definitely not gonna keep this on my home screen. Inside of settings, Apple has made exposure notifications way more prominent than before. I believe they were hidden under privacy prior, somewhere around here. You'd have to scroll down, it was kind of hidden. Now, uh, Apple has it front and center. Um, where I live here in the United States, we're not exactly doing the best on our whole virus tracking stuff, so I don't actually have an app or anything. Props to you guys that do. But if you do have an app for exposure notifications for tracking the virus, then it'll be in here. Here's what it looks like a bit closer. Again, exposure notifications, brand new inside of the settings app. Following that for search in iOS 14 beta 4, it's actually gotten a huge upgrade. You can see already uh, basically how great this is. So before this is 14 beta 3, you had very limited results. Like it, it wasn't actually that smart. It looks nice, you know, we're all a big fan, but it didn't actually have that much utility. Now when you search, uh, you actually get more stuff that might be relevant to you. You've got apps, files, wallet, calendar. I mean, genuinely, you're gonna find what you want first because you also have show more. So oh, look at that, look at what it shows. It shows my website, guys. It's really, really nice. Thanks, iOS 14. But essentially all the relevant results got pushed up where before uh, it was, not really present at all. You had to do like an extra search just to get to all of that. So now you're getting the most relevant stuff when you need it, and you're not gonna get this barrage of web results that usually isn't the most helpful. Next up in the music app, a couple of changes here. You probably spotted this already. Uh, the add button is white now with red text instead of red with white text. Um, the three dots are I think slightly smaller on this version because if you actually tap on something like this, you can see these three dots are ever so slightly different. Beta four, they're a little bit smaller and uh, beta 3 they are a little bit bigger <laughs> so Apple they're really refining the heck out of the music app at this point and also these pluses down here a bit smaller as well in 14 beta 3 and that just continues with all the big changes they've been making for the music app this year so far performance though definitely seems better on this update just stability wise in the hour or two I've used this on my device it feels really good like launching things up uh, a little bit more reliable than I think it was before, and I can tell Apple's putting in the work there, but also, I'm like, there's not a whole lot changing, which is, you know, not as fun for us to go through. But still, it looks great. Apple's doing a, a really genuinely fantastic job. I mean, honestly, this feels as good now as iOS 13 prior ever had. So let me know your thoughts and experiences with this down below. All right, that's all for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll catch all of you in my next one.